Hello everyone. Welcome to this section and in this section we are going to see the third method for creating novel datasets. So we are going to use GPT-3. It's a large language model by a company called as OpenAI. We will learn about GPT-3 quite a lot in the last module and don't worry if you do not know much about it but here you will quickly see how you can generate novel datasets and in the final module we will explore more around this and create code to be able to automate this process. So just to give a very very quick introduction, OpenAI is a company that develops several things and GPT-3 is one language model that is developed by OpenAI and a language model simply means that it can take any input text and generate more text depending on the input text and extend it. That's simply what it does. So you can go to this link beta.openai.com and you can sign up and get uh, free credits. So you'll get about $18 to get started for free and you can start testing with GPT-3. So once you are there, just click on playground. Once you're in this playground, you can just write any text and GPT-3 will fill it up. For example, you can just write, I own an ice cream shop and just click on submit. And GPT-3 will just fill, fill it up with the more text as you can see. On a high level, the input text that you give is called as prompt and GPT-3 generates some output text and there are some controllable parameters on the right but all of it will be discussed in the final module of this course. The goal is not to explain these things fully but rather just understand how you can generate novel datasets. Now let's take the example of generating datasets for paraphrasing. So I just randomly googled and stumbled upon this blog by Grammarly about paraphrasing, how to paraphrase without plagiarizing, etc. If I just scroll down to this section, there are some examples of original sentence and its paraphrased version. So some plants release certain aromas to alert their plants neighborhoods, plant neighbors that they are under attack. Some vegetation emits special scents to warn other plants that there is a danger near, nearby. Similarly, another example, polar bears are almost undetectable, cannot be detected, and the observable universe and 50 billion galaxies. Simply what I did was, I took these examples and I converted it into a prompt. This is how the prompt goes. The following is an original sentence followed by a paraphrased version of it with a diverse choice of words. So original and paraphrase. All I did was to collect those from those sentences and paraphrases from Grammarly. And I gave three examples here. The polar bear ones, the observable galaxy ones, etc. This is known as separator just to signal that we have come to the end of the sequence. And now the interesting thing that I'm doing e is after giving this prompt, I am asking to generate an original sentence and a prior phrased version with a prompt like this. I just give original colon and I gave the stop sequence here as triple hash that I have been using. And uh, the only parameter that I changed from the default one is this frequency penalty just to make sure that it doesn't talk about polar bears or plants or uh, and other things again. But all of this will be discussed in the final section. Don't worry about this. But simply what this means is that you can give few examples like I have here. And when you click on submit, magically GPT-3 will generate a completely new sentence. Light pollution is a growing problem in many cities around the world. The global issue of light pollution is getting worse in numerous other areas. So this is an original sentence and this is a paraphrased version. We did not even talk about light pollution or cities in any of these prompts. Just like a human would if you just show some examples of original and paraphrased versions. GPT-3 can completely come up with a new sentence and its paraphrased version. I'm just collecting this sentence light pollution. And I just created a 
new spreadsheet so I can go ahead and save this original and paraphrased version like this and again I can just delete this part and run it again to generate a novel sentence awesome so I can just keep on collecting these sentences and create my own paraphrase data set but essentially the goal is not to make this manual and in the final module we'll see how we can automate this where we'll create a UI with Streamlit and all you need to do is approve or disapprove the paraphrased version the original sentence and the paraphrased version and everything will be written into this uh, CSV file automatically the goal of this section is to make you understand that you can generate original data sets with GPT-3 this is an example of paraphrase if you want to generate sentences let's say a true sentence and a false version of the sentence you can do the same thing which is true sentence and false sentence you can give a few examples and automatically GPT-3 will generate new examples corresponding to the given input so similarly for whatever you don't have data sets for you can kind of generate with just showing few examples this is the third method of generating data sets and like I mentioned in the final module we'll see how we can semi automate this and build a streamlit UI where you can just approve or disapprove and the new original and paraphrased versions go onto this CSV file and get saved there hope you like the third method of creating completely new data sets and the other interesting thing to note is that once you generate high quality uh, data sets for example 100 or 500 pairs like this you can use this to train or fine tune the GPT-3 model again and you will get a better model with that so you can create high quality data set with GPT-3 and fine tune GPT-3 again to be able to generate your paraphrased versions given an input sentence. So that's the advantage of this method. That's all for this section and thanks for watching.